Well, it's that time of the week again, guys. Uh, getting a bit obsessed by making these videos now. I hope some of you are enjoying them. I'm enjoying making them, but we're going to work, carry on with what I said we'd talk about um, the Swiss Army knives, the Victorian Ox Swiss Army knives. And what I thought I'd do today is show you a few little t tips, um, hacks if you like, don't like the word hacks, hacks, don't like it, uh, a few tips and features that you've, if you carried one of the classic Swiss Army knives, if you've carried one for years and years, you might not even know about them. You might, if you do, that's great. But, you know, there's a lot of people who don't. So uh, we're going to be concentrating on the, the classic style, the red or whatever color it might be. Uh, obviously I've got a few different ones here. On a few tips and tricks. Now, I think what we'll do first, um, if you've got one of the Swiss Army knives, it's got a pen. Okay, not a very big pen, a bit difficult to write with. And the, the Swiss Army knife you've got, it's got the pen in it. Just lift up the corkscrew, put the pen in a couple of turns, close it up again, and that helps you sign your life away or whatever you're trying to do write a love letter and it just grips that pen and holds it so you can write with it so that's the first one so while we've got the screwdriver while we've got the corkscrew out this is a little bit more woodland friendly say for example you know your guy lines or your ridge line or whatever and it's been raining all night and you've got I've got a knot in there and your hands are freezing and you, you can't quite get that knot you can't quite get that knot undone you yeah no gnawing out with your teeth what you really need is a mylon spike voila mylon spike so just get that in there like that and just you can just pull that pull that knot apart, wriggle and jiggle. Might help if I get it in right side. So pull that in, pull that knot apart, and that works great. If your knots are solid, wet through, that'll go in, and you're not because it's you kind of you're not jabbing at it, you're just kind of turning it in like you would turning a screwdriver and it works really, it works actually works really really well and it's got me out of trouble loads and loads of times that so as much as I, the the at first glance the corkscrew might seem a little bit pointless it is a pretty good little tool um you just got to kind of think outside the box so those are a couple of things with the corkscrew now on a lot of the models, not the old, not not necessarily the older stuff, but I think from about 1993, on the full size Swiss Army knives, um, if you lift again, if you lift, I'm not sure how well the camera's going to pick this up. But if you lift the corkscrew or the screwdriver, if you've got um, a Frontiersman, I think it is the model. There's a tiny little hole in the scales there. I don't know if the camera's picking this up. There's a tiny little hole there. And what that's for is a stainless steel pin. Now, if you go for a deluxe model, uh, some companies do offer deluxe versions of the the model, the, the, the Victorian Ox models, and the deluxe model will come with a stainless steel pin. Now it's no magic pin, it's got no special properties, it's just a pin. So don't think because you haven't got the Victorian Ox pin that you have to spend four quid on a genuine Victorian Ox pin. Any pin will fit, or a needle for that matter, but they do tend to get stuck a little bit sometimes. But yeah, we all know pins are a great thing to have in the woods, a great thing to have in the woods for lots and lots of reasons. So that just fits, just fits in there, that little pin, if you can see that, just, so that's that, that's another little tip. Now then, the, 
let me just find him. The bottle cap lifter. The bottle cap lifter and flat bladed corkscrew. Comes with this little notch. That little notch there. Just below that. Just below the cap lifter there's a little notch. Now for a lot of, lot of years as a teenager or whatever, carrying a Swiss Army knife, I didn't have a clue what that little notch was. Uh, and then one day I saw a guy using one. Let me just put that back. On site. Um, and he'd lost his wire cutters, and that's what it is. It's a wire cutter. So basically, you're using the side of the using the side, I'm not sure how well this this will cut because it's quite a beefy wire it's using the side of the casing of the actual knife and using that to trap it is this going to work? and using it to strip wire it's probably a little bit thick this but it might work using it to strip strip wire so you know if you're wiring a plug and the yeah this wire is too thick um, if you're wiring a plug and you you know you need to make new connections and strip wire, that's what that little notch is. There we go. So yeah, that's a wire stripper, and it probably will cut. Get a push. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what it's for anyway. So that's that little notch there. Um, now, another feature that is quite a clever little one is using this hook. Now this hook, a lot of people say oh it's a button, it's a button hook, um, it's a throwback to Victorian times when women used to wear button-up boots or for buttoning up gloves or for collar studs, it's not because that didn't exist on a Swiss Army knife before 1992. Now this is a weird one. It's for carrying parcels that are wrapped with string. Why Victorinox decided to add that in mid, early to mid 90s? It must have been a trend that everybody were walking around with parcels wrapped up with a little bow of string and that you walking down the street to post office to post some cookies to your granny or something and you've got that hooked on there and it's like, ooh, ooh. You know, but that yeah, apparently that's what it's for. <laughs> it's a parcel carrier, um, but it's, you know it's not a bad little thing. Um, I've used it for a few things. Again, you can use that for undoing knots. Um, but one thing it's good for—it's not so much uh, for me, but uh, for people who bite the nails or whatever. A um, lot, lot of uh, cans and stuff come with a come with a ring pull now, especially spam. One of my favourites. Got to have some spam, and that ring pull, if you bite your nails or whatever, isn't always easy to get to. So that that little ring is great for just lifting that and opening up your spam. Great. So yeah, ring pulls, stuff like that. You can, with a little bit of imagination, probably use it. On a piece of paracord to dangle down and get your keys back out of a grate or uh, somebody was saying that you can use it to carry carrier bags uh, but I'm not convinced by that one anyway so yeah that's the that's the only use really I found for this is for opening them stubborn cans you could probably also use it on corned beef maybe um, what else have we got I think that's about it really oh yeah well, if you've got pliers your pliers also have if you open them right up your pliers also have a little notch there oh I know what I was going to show you right from my, from my, uh, my lunch because I'm gonna to have to eat that now, huh? now I've opened it so before my lunch right so you've just bought yourself a fancy new set of custom scales or you've bought a new pair of scales that you know you want to replace a different colour or your old ones were a bit battered and you want some brand shiny new ones that you found online how do you get the old ones off 
Right, well, it's simple enough. And it's easy if you've got two of these. It doesn't matter if you have them, but it's easy if you've got two of these. You open up your small screwdriver that's on the end of the can opener. Okay, and then you take out the tweezers and the toothpick. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. And that hole there that that's created, you put in that and you just wiggle. And you just wiggle. Turn that round, keep turning that round, and just wiggle that down gently, gently, and they'll pop off. Simple as that. They're just a push fitting, they're not glued on or anything. So they'll pop off. Get your new ones on. You know, new ones sometimes they do click into place and they're quite solid, but there's no, if, if you know, there's no harm in, in putting a tiny little dot of super glue in there. Just make sure you don't blather it because you'll never get your tweezers or whatever back in. But yeah, simple as that. Just ease it open, run your, run your tool all the way around, easing it open, and they'll just pop off. And then when you get your new ones, your new ones will just snap back into place like that. Sometimes they need a, a little nip in a vice. But snap back into place, put your tool set back in, and you've got a brand new pair of scales on one of your knives. That's it for now, um, I might do another video on tips and tricks, um, if I can think of some more good ones, or you know, if, if you guys think know, know some that I've not covered, um, just let me know and uh, I'll add them to the next video. Um, that's it for now guys, uh, thanks for watching as always, all five of you, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Uncle Beard, out.